Hello friendos, happy holidays, presents, and food time. I'm Maury, and I lost a chunk of recording when making this. A lot of the inking process is just gone forever, but that's okay. All of the sweater details saved, even though the base contours didn't. It's only been the past few years that I've learned to appreciate the ugly sweater trend to a degree. I'm not even sure what counts as an ugly sweater anymore. I've seen some nice looking sweaters labeled ugly as long as they were festive, so anything goes, I guess. Since the big scene of the chapter focuses on the Leeds family and it's the holidays, I decided to make this cover look like a family holiday card. This definitely would have been Nancy's idea the first few years that they did it, then somewhere along the line TJ would start finding it more hilarious than pointless and start spearheading it. Damien just goes along with it because it's his family and it's his parents' decision. At least now he's old enough to choose his own sweater with mother approval. TJ does not need mother's approval. These sweaters were a lot of fun to design. There are a bunch more sketches of different sweater ideas on my Patreon. And now for an awful segue! This is going to be the last chapter title page for Pine Barrens. I'll still be making bonus art for each chapter, but it will be handled a bit differently. Over the past few months, I have been reading a lot of successful webcomics to figure out how they handle everything for digital comics, and specifically comics best read on phones. When I first started trying to post comics in 2010, I only had graphic novels as reference and scans of other comics online. PBSN was structured visually based in that format. I've been so busy with life and making my own comics that I forgot to really look at what the market is like for long story comics online. I knew that the intro art in PBSN is old and could turn people away, but I didn't realize how not fully accessible the whole comic was to the mobile market until I spent a lot of time reading my own work and comparing that structure to the successful work of others. In chapter nine, I started to implement these changes in the framing and in text size, but I think it'll be more noticeable with this one as I make more adjustments to be mobile friendly. This chapter will definitely see more changes to the handling of panel sizes and text sizes. Thanks for staying to the end of the video. If you want to see more of my art, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr. You can read my comics on Tapas, and if you're feeling really festive, maybe you could consider being a patron on my Patreon. For only $2 a month, you get a bunch of my warm-up digital sketches and my comics before anyone else. Bye-bee!